The most Venezuelan experience I had would have to be this day in December, learning how to make a traditional holiday food called anayaka. But let me bring you up to speed as to how I ended up here. I've been running around Venezuela for two months now. From Caracas, I made my way to Valencia, experiencing the passion of the people at a Magallanes game. In Sorte, I witnessed the spiritual traditions that take place in the mountains. And in Barquisimeto, I was overwhelmed by the Venezuelan hospitality of a taxi driver. The chilly weather in Merida showed me a side of Venezuela I didn't know even existed. Despite the warnings and horror stories people told me about Venezuela, I felt comfortable traveling alone. One thing that stayed consistent during these two months was that whenever I told people I planned on leaving at the end of November, they told me that December was when Venezuela comes alive. I was just starting to see that the Venezuela I was warned about wasn't the full picture, and I wanted to see this other side a bit more. So I extended my stay through New Year's. As soon as December started, it felt like the whole country went on vacation and celebrated. The streets were covered in illuminations, and wherever I went, people were hanging outside, drinking and listening to Gaita, a traditional music here in Venezuela. This brings me to the most Venezuelan experience I had during my whole stay here. It's a day where extended families all come together to cook, drink, and dance all day to make hundreds of this traditional holiday food called ayacas. My friend's family in Valencia invited me to their family gathering, or ayacaso as some people call it, and I spent an afternoon learning how to make and ayaka. This one's not actually I assumed the first step was to roll out the corn dough, but I was wrong. They weren't going to let me off so easy. I was sent straight to where it really starts. After graduating from cleaning and preparing the banana leaves, I was invited back to the table to start rolling out the corn dough.
By far the hardest part of the process was tying it together at the end so when they are boiled they don't fall apart. <laughs> The way I see it, ayacas look like tamales, but are packed with way more flavor. The key ingredient is el guiso, which is a heavy meat-based stew cooked over the course of the day. The ayakas tasted incredible, but by far the best part, and honestly my favorite food while in Venezuela, was this cup of leftover el guiso paired with some fresh bread. I've been fortunate enough to travel and see beautiful landscapes from around the world, but when I think back at the moments I would like to relive, it's moments like this, surrounded by people enjoying each other's company, that stand out. That being said, I've been in Venezuela for two months now, and I still have yet to go to the beach. So one day in December, I packed my bags, seeking the ocean.